Coffee is a brewed drink prepared from roasted coffee beans, which are the seeds of berries from the coffee plant. The Genes coffee is native to tropical Africa and Madagascar, the Comoros Mauritius and Reunion in the Indian Ocean. In this video, we will take a look on why drinking excess coffee is not good for health and tips to curb your habit. If you rely on caffeine to make you up and keep you going, you aren't alone. Caffeine is used daily by millions of people to increase wakefulness, elevate fatigue and improve concentration and focus. Up to 400 mg of caffeine a day appears to be safe for most healthy adults. That's roughly the amount of caffeine in 4 cups of dripped coffee, 10 cans of cola or 2 energy short drinks. Keep in mind that the actual caffeine content in beverages varies widely, especially among energy drinks. You may want to cut back if you are drinking more than 4 cups of caffeinated coffee a day and you are experiencing side effects such as migraine headache, insomnia, nervousness, irritability, restlessness, frequent urination, stomach upset, fast heartbeat, muscle tremors. Even a little makes you jittery. Some people are more sensitive to caffeine than are others. If you are susceptible to the effects of caffeine, just small amounts even one cup of coffee or tea may prompt unwanted effects such as restlessness and sleep problems. Whether it's for one of the reasons above or because you want to trim your spending on coffee drinks, cutting back on coffee can be challenging. An abrupt decrease in caffeine may cause withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, irritability and difficulty focusing on tasks. Fortunately, these symptoms are usually mild and resolve after a few days. To change your caffeine habit, try these tips. Keep tabs. Start paying attention to how much caffeine you are getting from foods and beverages, including energy drinks. Read labels carefully, but remember that your estimate may be a little low because some foods or drinks that contain caffeine don't list it. Cut back gradually. For example, drink one fewer can of soda or drink a smaller cup of coffee each day or avoid drinking caffeinated beverages late in the day. This will help your body get used to the lower levels of caffeine and lessen potential withdrawal effects. Go Decaf Most decaffeinated beverages look and taste the same as their caffeinated counterparts. Shorten the brew time or go herbal. When making tea, brew it for less time. This cuts down its caffeine content. Or choose herbal teas that don't have caffeine. Check the bottom. Some over-the-counter pain relievers contain caffeine as much as 130mg of caffeine in one dose. Instead, look for caffeine-free pain relievers. So the bottom line is, if you are like most adults, caffeine is a part of your daily routine and most often it doesn't pose a health problem. But be mindful of those situations in which you need to curtail your caffeine habit.